Hey, it's Quad Star Tuning here tonight. Uh, we wanted to make this quick video to show you our our new oil drain kit. We're really excited about. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, we got a '99 stock GM motor on the stand here with a with a GM8 turbo. Now this kit is compatible with with all the popular turbo options from the stock to whole set to to the new turbos we're actually coming out here with this month. So what it consists of is this custom form tube and thick drain plate that's welded inside and out, um, all deburred and cleaned up and painted for you. Um, this comes with, with two Allen head bolts that actually just slip right in and you'll reuse your, uh, your two factory bolts on the bottom here. So once you put some Permatex on here, uh, we prefer to use uh, the quick silicone gasket maker over an actual gasket just because it's hard to hard to clean up this area when it's in the truck and actually get this thing to seal up. So uh, just for mock-up purposes, I'm just going to throw this on here without any Permatex, but just remember that you need to put it in there. So always start from the bottom on this guy. Start down in the block because in the truck, you know, this is going to be a little harder to get to, but it is a really simple installation. Uh, you need a 5 16 hex to get in here. And you always kind of sort torch these down by hand when it's in the truck. Um, these are your two 10 millimeter bolts that come from the factory. We just reuse those, hold this plate on here. Just quick a little uh, throw those on. Let's make sure you have good uh, silicone coverage when you put that on there, and uh, this will be a nice permanent leak-free installation. You know, this is uh, off-roading, or when you're working in here in the future, you're not going to have to worry about any uh, any rubber things to leak. This is all, all metal construction. The top tube stainless steel. Uh, it's actually an OEM type application that's used on uh, millions of other vehicles. That's kind of why we adapted it here. Um, this double O-ring seal goes right into our custom pipe. An interference fit they don't have to worry about ever coming out of there or leaking so what you want to do next is um, we actually need to make sure if we just jam this in here and try to snake it in it's not necessarily gonna gonna fit between every turbo and the exhaust so what you want to do is just uh, lay it up in there um, where you'll be able to slide it over real easy and just firmly this comes pre-oiled so it'll just pop right in for you just uh, snake it down in there nice and tight and once uh once they meet, you know it's fully inserted, and then we can just uh orient this at the top. Um, we give you two new ten millimeter flange bolts and a gasket. Let me grab that gasket real quick. We do give you a turbo gasket with this. This is the used one just for mock up purposes. We would definitely want to make sure you just slide the gasket in there. Uh, we don't use any silicone at the top because it's hard to get in there. I always prefer the gasket up here. It works a little bit better than down at the bottom. And just put your two 10 millimeter bolts in. We have to finagle it around a little bit to get that to go in. Just because uh, the stainless tube is worn sometimes. The nice thing about this is all this reusable. I mean, we have to do this once and just never worry about it again. Once you have those two at the top started by hand, uh, just grab your 10 millimeter socket. Uh, it helps to have a universal for this. Just to get in this back bolt a little tricky. There, there's no way you're going to get a wrench in there easily. But once you do that, Man, you're good to go. It's a couple minutes. I mean, obviously it'll take longer on the truck because you got to get that the old pipe out of there, which frequently um, you'll have to actually remove the turbocharger to get that factory pipe out unless you just cut it into two pieces. One out the bottom, one out the top. Uh, we actually have one of those sitting here to show for demonstration. Yeah, this is the factory drain line used to snake down behind the exhaust manifold and into a rubber coupling at the bottom, which is the you know the biggest issue. Number one, that that gets dry and leaks on you. 
And number two, this isn't adjustable at all for new turbochargers. So this actually, um, we're able to conform this in a way that clears the manifold. It still tucks in behind everything. It's not sticking out to get caught on anything, a stick or anything that might come through um, in many different applications. And uh, that's all we have for today. Uh, throw us a comment. Uh, throw us a like. Let us know what you think about this. Thank you.